Tony Pollard is a running back who can do it all. But he didn't just wake up with all of his skills. He worked for them. He still works for them. Coach Dave McGinnis saw for himself at a recent practice. We've got two running backs now with similar skill sets. We're going to focus on, on Tony Pollard today and what he brings is somebody that not only has the power and, and the ability to make people miss inside the tackle box, but he can run the route tree. They are running through the gauntlet, this gauntlet machine. He's got the pads out there to sit. It, 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 it simulates defenders reaching for the ball. In the National Football League, they are going to reach and grab for the football constantly. The dummy at the end is for contact. You've got to be able to run through not only contact at the first level, which is the line of scrimmage, but then contact coming from the third level with people dropping down on top of you. That's what this is right here. Here they go, he's got to, they got to stay underneath the hurdle, come back, catch it, then move, move up field. He's got to get his, his body weight down. He's got to drop his body weight, drop your body weight down, and then be able to reverse and come back. Drop your body weight down. You hear me talking about running a route tree all the time. You've got to be able to do that. You've got to be able to, to incorporate your, your body position with your footwork and then be able to come back and present a target to the thrower. Here we go. Now he's got now he's got them started off horizontally. Now once they start off horizontally, they gotta make a move, twist their trunk, and here's the other thing. They he never wants them doing this drill looking down. They don't want to look down at their feet. They gotta get a feel. They gotta get their perif. And, and and a perif for a running back is not only vertical out in front of you, it's got to be able to be just a, a big cone, a big circle, because they gotta be able to see what's coming at them from a lot of different directions. But you will always see running back coaches, we're seeing it right here, don't look down. Don't look down. These running backs are going to be involved constantly. Once they've been able to clear their blocking assignment, if, if their blocking assignment is dictated by the protection plan that they have for that certain play, they're always going to be a viable option. Now they're, they're simulating it, working on a skeleton seven on seven. Skeleton seven on seven means there's no defense out there. So they're working on seven on seven, and they're, and they're working on timing of their screen game. Now we've got one on one. They've got one on one over here with the linebackers. Got a route running right here. Okay, double move. Double move coming right at us. There we go. You're going to see this because if you put a matchup on a linebacker out here with, 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 with this guy, then you've got a mismatch. Route to the back run was that check down, turn around, face the quarterback. That's exactly what they were working on in their individual. As I say, you're going to see these running backs in the passing game deployed a lot of different places. Here it is. There's the check down right there to the back. We saw it perfectly illustrated as to what they were working on in their individual. You've got to take it from individual to group, to now we're seeing in, in, in the 7-on-7 part of it. That's the way you teach, that's the way you progress, that was work to perfection.